thank you for tuning in. I wanted to put together this video because I realized that while I had covered this ready-made RC recruit in a previous video, I had not really talked much about uh, adding some basic avionics, the Pix Falcon with PX4 firmware. And this thing really flies like a dream, not only manually, but autonomously. And late last year, some friends and I took this out. We hand launched it, toggled to autonomous mode and flew it for about 13 miles from uh, takeoff to landing. We followed it and made sure that we had telemetry the whole time, kept it in line of sight. But recently, my friend Ryan said, hey, let's try to see how much we can get out of this guy distance wise. So originally we flew with a 2200 milliamp hour uh, 3S LiPo and got about 12 miles of range. We still had some to spare, but we want to see if we can push it a little bit further. Now, the one thing that I want to cover specifically and is probably the number one question that I get asked all the time is uh, how to add a companion computer to a PixHawk. Now, this is Pix Falcon. But the problem that we ran into, even within line of sight, this little telemetry radio uh, caused problems as it relates to being able to constantly get location uh, and telemetry data into QGround control. So what my goal is with uh, this Pi Zero, I'm going to couple that with this uh, WaveShare GPRS shield. I believe this looks like this is the SIM 800C uh, GSM modem and it's already got the header connector. You can just plug it in. I'll go ahead real quick and power it up. But the goal is to ultimately get Mavlink streaming out of my Pix Falcon or your PX4 based flight controller into the Raspberry Pi and out of the GPRS shield. Now for phase one, here's what I'm thinking we'll do. And I'll, I'm going to cover these steps because I'm learning a lot during the process and I want to share that for anyone else that's interested. But for step one, I'm going to be running a drone kit, getting GPS information and trying to push that, uh, whether it's via SMS or maybe to a HTTP endpoint. I don't think initially I'm going to wait around and try to get full uh, Mavlink communication working. I just want to get this in the air, hopefully understand what's going on. It does already have a SIM. I purchased that from Hologram. I've been able to provision it and send AT commands. And that's why I think the full Mavlink communication could be a challenge is just uh, the interface to this board is via AT command. So I've been able to successfully uh, get GPS using the drone kit API and send that information uh, via SMS from this module to my phone. But the dream would be to get Mavlink coming out of Pix Falcon into Pi over the network to Q ground control. So we'll start simple over the next few videos. I'll talk about connecting the Pi Zero to Pix Falcon, configuring it, being able to communicate with it, uh, demonstrating some of those capabilities, and then ultimately trying to get some of that information over the air. These telemetry modules that come with Pix Falcon work well, but like I said, in our scenario, we did lose link a few times and uh, we want to try to get it so that we can maintain link through this shield. Whether or not we'll be successful is uh, still to be determined, but at least in the meantime, I'll be able to document this process, not only for my own benefit, but for those of you that have asked about connecting the companion computer, and hopefully we'll learn a lot during the process. So just wanted to share that update. Once again, this is the ready-made RC recruit. It's a small FPV wing. It flies amazingly well with Pix Falcon. That could be Pix Racer or Pix Hawk Mini. And we're going to ultimately work towards getting the companion computer set up and data sent over the cellular network to a ground station. So thank you for tuning in. If you have any suggestions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.